Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss or we are going to implement the port address translation. So in our previous videos, we discussed about the network address translation and we implemented the static net and the static network address translation and then we implemented dynamic network address translation. And today we are going to discuss uh, this uh, port address translation. So if you remember then port, uh, this uh, network address trans translation is required to translate the private IP addresses to the public IP address. And why we knew, need this? So we need this because uh, in, our in our organizations, for example, we can use some of the private IP addresses because private IP addresses are the, are the IP addresses for which we don't need any registration. We don't need any permission from anyone. So we can use those IP addresses within our organizations. But when uh, we want to communicate with some of the computer or some of the network, which is on the uh, which is on the internet, which is outside network, for example. So we say this private organization is the inside network and the rest of the network is the outside network. So when the traffic wants to travel from this inside part of the network to the outside part of the network, that is basically out of that organization, that's basically using the internet, that is basically using the public IP addresses. So to be part of that are just to send some traffic on that network, we need public IP addresses. So it means as long as we are communicating within our organization using private IP addresses, this will not be a problem. But when we want to send something to the outside network, we need public IP addresses. And for that, we need network address translation. And today we are going to discuss are we are going to implement the port address translation where the IP address as well as the ports of uh, the packets which are coming from the inside network. So the IP address as well as the port will be translated. As the initial setup, I have shown these three computers on the private side or the private network side or the inside network side. So they all are using private IP addresses. And then outside network, you can see in, in yellow, they all are using some public IP addresses and for uh, assigning IP addresses to these computers, for example, you can go like this one and you can assign these IP addresses. And for the interfaces of these router, I have given the names of the interfaces as well as the IP addresses. And if you want to configure the IP addresses for those interfaces, then this is the set of commands you can go, you can use. So you can, you need to go to individual interfaces and then assign the IP addresses, which, which are shown here and then no shutdown command. So you can configure, you can create this uh, lab by yourself as well. And on the right hand side, we have this server and this server is HTTP server. So we have given an IP address to this server and for configurations uh, for this server. So for example, you need to select server from there. So you can see here, this is server. And then you need to click there and then services and HTTP server and then you have to turn on this HTTP as well as HTTP services here and you also need to give an IP address which I have given here so for that this is simple that you have to go to desktop and IP address and here you can give the same IP addresses and the default gateway will be this interface will be the default gateway for this computer or for this server as well as for this computer so this is the default gateway and for that default gateway this is the IP address which I have configured for this interface of the router. Okay, with this initial discussion, I hope you can recreate this lab by yourself and for port address translation. So port, uh, for port address translation, we will be using the IP address which is configured on this interface. So that interface is G0 slash one. So this interface has an IP address and we will use that IP address to translate all the private IP addresses which are on the left hand side. It means if any of the computer from the left hand side will make a request for some of the contents which are on the outside part of the network, then this router will translate the IP address of that particular computer to this IP address that is 172.20.0.1. So for all of these IP addresses, a single IP address will be assigned after translation. So you can see in this table, 
for all IP addresses, I have shown that this will be translated to the same IP addresses, but the ports numbers will be different. So this is the job of port address translation. And uh, if you want to revise the theory, then I'm going to put the link for theoretical part of this network address translation part as well. Anyway, so now let's uh, go and configure this router for port address translation. So I have written the command here. And if you see, this is the command that IP net network address translation and then there's the keyword inside this inside keyword actually mentions or indicates that the ip addresses from the inside part of the network will be translated and this source keyword indicate that when the when the packet from these private ip addresses uh, will come to this router and in that packet we will be header and the header we will have source IP addresses so the source IP addresses will be translated in that packet and then this list to this is the access list which we have to configure on this router to filter out the packets or sorry to filter out the IP addresses for which we want this router to with this router uh, to translate those IP addresses so it means we want to mention that these these IP addresses should be translated and how to mention this and how to filter out that we use the access list for that. So access list will give us the IP addresses which we need translation for and then which IP address we will use for the translation. So for that we are mentioning that we will be using the IP address which is configured on this interface of the router and that is gigabit ethernet zero slash one. And then this overload keyword will indicate that we are going to configure PAT, uh, the port address translation. Otherwise the command is very similar to the dynamic network address translation. But this, except this. So at the moment I'm using this interface uh, IP address, but you can also mention a specific IP address for this translation. Maybe for example, you say 200 dot something dot something. So not this IP address should be used for translation, but we can mention some specific IP address and even we can mention a pool of IP addresses and then this router will use that pool for translation from the private IP addresses to the public IP addresses. So for that, you can see we need an access list. So for that, we are going to configure first the access list. And uh, this was a left. It. so maybe just this was I should do again so first I'm going to configure the access list and at the moment for example if you want to see if there are any translation or if there is some configuration before that you can see IP uh, so show IP net translation so this commands actually gives any translation if already done but there is nothing done so we are going to even uh, uh, so this doesn't mean that this indicates that the uh, translation is not has been enabled but this shows that the table is empty we are not going to configure this translation and then uh, we will activate some or we will send some requests from this species and then this uh, translation entities will appear there okay so for this we are going to configure first of all the access list so for that we need to go to global configuration mode and then we have access list and we have to configure a standard access list and then for that we need numbers so we are going to give that access list a number of two and then we have permit so by question mark i'm getting help permit and then we have to give the ip address of the network so the private ip address is here so see here these are the ip address which we want to filter out for that we have this one dot zero so this is the this is the uh, network or uh, this is a subnet on the uh, inside network part or on the private organization is using this these addresses and we want these addresses to be translated by the router so i have mentioned this one and then we have to give the wildcard mask and for that we have this uh, wildcard mask that is basically opposite of the subnet pass and then if we see if there is anything needed no we are done and press enter 
this is the access list we have created and with this access list this router will filter out all the ip addresses which are in this network and then we have to use this command so for example for this command i can just copy and paste maybe the same command and we'll see and if i go there i can just paste it and so ip net inside source and so this is the list access list 2 and this is the interface which we'll be using so this is it. this is g0 slash 1 this is the interface which we will be using at the moment so that's that and press enter so we have configured with this simple command the port address translation on this router okay so and then we also have to define the interfaces so on this router we have two interfaces one of the interface has to be in the inside part of the network and one of the interface has to be in the outside part of the network it means when the router sees some of the packets on the inside port it will take that uh, source uh, ip address and it will translate it with some of the ip addresses so for example in this case this will translate it to 172.20.0.1 so we need to specify this as well so for that we need to go to those particular interface and in this case on the inside part we have this gigabit 0 slash 0 we say interface gigabit ethernet 0 slash 0 and we say ip net and then for inside part we have this command ip net inside so with this command we specify that this g0 slash 0 is the interface which will be on the inside part of the network which is in the inside network in the same way for the outside part we need to go to that particular interface and in this case on the outside part of the network we have g0 slash 1 so interface g0 slash 1 and press enter and here we say ip net and then we say outside and press enter that's it we are done with all the configuration and now let's see if there is something in the ip net translation table if there are some translation which has been done by this router there's nothing there because no client has requested this router for any translation but now for example if we want to go if we want to use this computer to reach this HTTP server here on this side so then we can go like this we need to give the IP address of that server and we press enter and you can see we we can see or we can reach this server and now if we go and see and show IP net translations I mean network address translation then you can see that there is an entry in this in the router and router is going to mention that on the inside part the ip address we call that inside local it said i i received a request from this ip address that is inside local ip address having this port number and then it says that i translated that ip address to this this one so that is inside global address and i assigned this port number and then on the outside local so this is the destination ip address so destination means the ip address of this server that is 172.3.2.1 so you can see that this translation has been done by this uh, router and now let's suppose that we want to ping from this pc the same http server then we can go like here we can say ping 172.3.2.1 so this is the ip address of this http server and you press enter and you can see we are getting reply and now we should have an entry for this computer because this computer sent a request and there must be some entry in the routing or in the routers iOS so we see here show IP net translation and this time you can see we have other entries as well you can see now 192.168.10.1 this is the computer which made the request for ping so the ping uses icmp protocol so this is also indicated here that icmp protocol was used and you can see before this there this was from this computer that is 192.168.10.2 and after this colon you can see here these are maybe the random port number assigned by this one 
no, uh, by the by the net sorry not net but pet port address translation so by this uh, utility on the router this is translating not only the ip address but also the port numbers so in this same way if you want to maybe ping from this computer to this computer 172.3.2.2 so we can do that thing as well so ping 172.3.2.2 press enter so for this one it's trying to reach this computer hopefully this should be successful and yes after maybe art messages and this got success and then we can see the entries again here so now you can see we have the entries for all these source ip addresses now at this time you can see we have this 192 10.3 this computer made this request at this time and in the same way you can see for example if you want to see uh, in the simulation mode you can go to uh, simulation mode like this one and then you can edit filters and here maybe you have to select only http so you can say show all and then show none show none means once you select then this will be show all and then none and then in there you can select http http and then you can go to this computer maybe and press again this one uh, maybe close it and again 172.3.2.1 uh, and press go and then you press here and then you can see this packet has been generated here and now you can see the outbound pdu so outbound pdu source shows the source ip address and the destination ip address and then you can forward it further when this goes to this switch you can look at the inbound as well out, as well as outbound in the same way at the router you can see here this will be interesting to see that on the inbound we have this ip address and uh, in the same way you can see different fields also the port numbers here and yes yeah, so you can experiment with this well this will be interesting to see all the different fields in key and yes so you can play with that and uh, thank you very much for your time i hope this was a bit helpful for you and i hope to see you in some other video and um, yes thank you thank you very much so